have here is one of Rift Exhaust's beautiful titanium exhaust system for an F8 Ferrari. Oh, wow. The way that they actually badge their exhaust gives you how many of these exhausts they will actually make for this car. So they give a really limited production. What number is this? finished up with the F8. Unfortunately, we did not get any final content of it. Our client got a uh, offer on the vehicle with this crazy market that it had to go. On to the next projects. We have a lot of cool stuff and content still to do anyways on everything else we got, like this purple Monte right here. Well, that'll be upcoming soon. That's coming soon, not this one, next one. On to the next. <laughs> Tundra. To get it with the twin turbo six electric assist, that's not available yet, and that's the one I want to wait for. So this is a twin turbo Tundra, but this is a platinum edition, so it's pretty much fully loaded, nicest interior you can get, nicest all of the exterior components. Doing a little bit of paint work on it, as well as paint protection and window tint, all the basic stuff that we do here. But he doesn't like the uh, the chrome mustache here, and I actually kind of like it. The black chrome doesn't look bad, and I haven't actually seen it in black chrome until now, and I really don't mind it, but I do agree, if that is gonna be painted the same beautiful red that this is, that's the way I would have it. So it is really nice to actually see this much of a redesign, and uh, let's get inside and check it out. My Toyota always does it best. Only been in one of these once and it was only for a brief second, but yep, that's a dope gauge cluster. It's a pretty big screen. That is a huge screen. It's really nice in here. Yeah, I'm really uh I'm really liking the fit and finish of everything. This excites me more now that I'm seeing one. I just can't wait for mine to show up. So as far as yours, the one that you're ordering, same thing? Just so, with extra features, but like yeah, same as far as looks. 2022 model, so all Got of this it. interior thing would be the same, but you know, you don't have the platinum trim, you're gonna have the TRD Pro trim, which the leather's a little bit different. Um, Drivetrains, what's really gonna be the biggest difference is that yeah. you get that. It's like a 180 foot-pound torque electric assist engine that's sandwiched between the twin turbo V6 and the transmission. So then you get this electric assist, which everybody that has driven one describes it to feel more like a diesel truck, because it's got this low-end torque from that electric engine, and then you get the twin turbo six. I mean, this truck's capable of towing 13,000 pounds, and when Toyota says that it can tow 13,000 pounds, they mean it can th tow 13,000 pounds, where my Chevy, they're really maxing that number out and I would never suggest towing that actual max capacity but the this truck being completely redesigned with rear coils in the in the back versus a leaf spring this has got to drive much more like a really smooth SUV again I haven't had a chance to drive it yet but I'm really hoping I can we're gonna have to ask the owner if we can take it for a spin later <laughs> Well, this is it. I'm really Hundred. excited to go give this a drive, but this is the uh, the twin turbo V6 model. Pretty interesting. The, it's not V8 anymore. Yeah, so they finally ditched the V8. And they did a twin turbo six. This twin turbo six is a 3.4 liter and it makes 389 horsepower. And then it makes 479 foot pounds of torque, which is pretty impressive out of a twin turbo six. Yeah. But then if you do the hybrid assist, you get 437 horsepower and 583 foot pounds of torque. Not too shabby. And now this guy's put, you know, 763 miles on his truck and he's getting 15.6 miles a gallon. That's pretty good out of a, out of a truck. Yeah. The full front end paint protection. We painted the once chrome, black chrome, mustache on the front of this to be paint matched to this beautiful cherry red. The and badge too, right? Huh? The badge. And the badge. And I think it's a huge improvement. The TRD Pro comes with all of its off-road capability. You can do a small lift and put 35s under this truck pretty easy, which is factory. You get the factory nice. lift from Toyota to make it fit a 35 inch tire, which is pretty neat. My end goal with the TRD would be full wide body and 37s and long travel, just like my Silverado. That'd be dope but until those parts actually become available because none of them are available, like yeah. the one that we saw down in SEMA, until those parts actually become available, my truck will be lifted on 35s. Which is still pretty 
quick. Transmission is so smooth. I'm really impressed with the way this thing drives. It doesn't feel like your traditional Toyota brake system, which I've always hated in all the forerunners and Tacomas that I get into. You barely touch the pedal and it feels like it's sending you through the windshield. Bing bang! I'm just hoping that the hybrid, even though you're adding a significant amount of weight due to the battery system, I'm hoping that it feels more peppy from the get-go, and it should, right? You've got 200 foot-pounds of torque now right there, where this has like a bit of a boost lag, and now you can feel it's getting into power, where yeah. I feel like that electric assist is going to make the low-end RPMs feel so torquey. I mean, this is nine years and 250 employees working for Toyota, 40 hours a week, for the last nine years to develop this truck. That just blows my mind. Mr. Whalen? What's up, Sean? I'm come, I gotta come up and check that out, dude. That thing, like, just made my hard. <laughs> <laughs> that makes me so happy. If there's anything I can do to another male, is get their card. Like, I just, <laughs> God, that made me so happy to hear, Sean. You're offended by that, but you're like, dude, I got Sean Whalen's card. By the way, by the way, I'm buying another car. What so, are you getting? Uh, same thing. I Dope. Don't. Car. But we're gonna have it as a backup car. Sick. I'm gonna wrap it the exact same. Dope. Let's make it happen. God bless America. Hell Thanks, yeah, dude. my friend. I can't wait. All right, man. See you, Sean. Bye. That's always, it's always exciting when you can get another grown man to feel erotic <laughs> over his rap. <laughs> As you heard, our boy Sean is overly excited. Come check out the project. Sean Whalen with Lines Not Sheep. We're just uh, testing out some colors for the wheels. He's gonna powder coat them, uh, powder coat them pink, and we're just trying to get some pink that'll match that. My goodness. Different angles, it looks. Yeah, like you can that. see the different angles too. Yeah. So I think it looks pretty good. Pop. them install just some white vinyl and I'm gonna draw out the design kind of redesign it while drawing it so we can you know physically see it and then take a picture of it and then take it in the illustrator and vector it out so pretty much a template pretty much yeah I'm gonna have to like measure like each of the colors so I know like going down like okay I'm gonna, you know, like, eight inches of black and then 10 inches of blue and then that way I have like points to hit along the sides and then probably gonna take a couple times but it'll look good after it's done so that trial and error. Yeah. You boys ready? Oh yeah. Sean Whalen's Aston Martin Vantage that we just finished up wrapping in this custom livery, which looks absolutely good. Um, this is a GT3 race car, so it's basically a factory assembled, factory built race car that has its almost OEM components. As far as drivetrain, transmission, engine, it's gonna be the same as what came in the street legal version of this car, but this is now its entire race spec covered in its beautiful livery. You can see why Sean got so excited in his pants. <laughs> I'm really happy nice. with how this turned out. Now what we have is if you have one, you gotta have two. Wait, so does that mean it's gonna be like flip-flop or same-same? 
I think he wants to make his identical, where the other Got it. Jason's is going to be flip-flop, the other set of Lambos flip-flop, but apparently in this industry, if you have one, you have to have a backup car, and that it's got to be the same thing. It totally makes sense. I don't know how it makes sense, but it totally makes sense that you need not one, but two race cars. In case you wad this one up against the wall, you've got your backup car that you get to continue to race with. I want to thank you all for watching, liking, subscribing. Stay tuned. we got a lot of fun projects coming up.